Hi, this is Don D. Uh, you can find my site at uh, dond-wp.com. Uh, in this tut uh, tutorial, I'm going to have a look at uh, the new WebPlus X6, um, which got released at uh, the end of May. So it was only a year from the release of X5, so which is pretty quick. It's usually 18 months. But anyway, uh, when you first start up, X6 you usually start up with the startup wizard uh, and it looks similar to X5 uh, you've got all your old sites that you've been working on and then you've got new new site and use template uh, but one major addition is the start new site if you click that you'll start the configure a new site wizard where you can give it a name there uh, if you've got a, a URL already you can put that in there uh, so it help when you start to publish and then next is default page size the first two are for phones 320 and 640 and then the others are for the uh, normal sites. Uh, you can always do a, also do a default uh, custom uh, size and the number of pages that you want initially into the, the site. So I've put six pages. Next, choose a color scheme. Next is navbar. okay that next is choose assets which um, is new to web plus uh, if you've got um, page plus then you will this is something similar um, where you choose and I'll show you here from the asset browser items um, like logos, picture frames, silhouettes and, and you can see the list goes down here. Um, if I choose some say backgrounds just click those and you got a little tick at the bottom right hand corner like so and then some logos that you may like like so close that and what will happen now is when we finish with the uh, the uh, configuration uh, the asset tab will fly out from the left here and come to about here we'll have all these items in uh, different tab sections which I'll show you in a second next is to save your site now and then finish If you see to the left here, you've got assets. This is where um, these assets that I've, I've put in, I've taken on my color scheme that we chose when starting up the, where's the backgrounds? There's the backgrounds, there are the backgrounds I put in. And then all you have to do is just click and drag onto the page, apply uh, background as to a current page or you can use it as default let's try to use it as a default okay and that's on the page now and it'll be on all the others uh, so that's that and then you've got here quick builder which is all your um, objects that you want to put onto the page like text box uh, picture panel, uh, photo gallery, table, calendar, navigation bar, uh, buttons and they're all in their different tabs here. Uh, rollover, uh, pop-up rollover, then you've got the search, Google, maps and the ad sets. And you've got 
external content you've got uh, document frame and then you've got some smart objects here blog news forum and then you've got the rss social media that's um, got to facebook twitter and google plus but you've also got a toolbar you can put on which if you if i click that and drag it onto the page uh, here you've got the default um, buttons and then you can add any more that you want onto it and you click uh, so we have the large size um, okay and then those go onto the page and you might have seen the blue line just there well that's the center line the, the dynamic lines actually because you if you put an object on the on the on the page if you bring another object near it you'll get lines going to the edges of each so you can line them up and here that's the, that's the, the center line of the page now, if I bring it across you will see it gets it gets darker as the subject center line gets on it so you can place it easily center um, you'll notice the objects of the toolbar on the left hand side here uh, compared to X5 is completely different X5 I've got underneath and you can see that there are a number of buttons missing from this toolbar that's because they are in the quick quick build here where you can click and drag onto the page uh, it's very very uh, very good you can set this uh, this toolbar up to be permanently out, permanently in, or, or have it automatic. So when you come, it's the same as the t the uh, the um, the studio on this side here. This you can set to automatically come out when you put your cursor near it. So you can, this you can do the same. So they can both go in and out. Quite, uh, quite easily. Now, if you um, just click that in like so. So that's the, the, the toolbar here, where it's got some things missing, you may think, but they're in the, in the um, quick builder. They are also on the insert menu. This has been changed. The file um, and, and insert menu um, have been completely changed uh, where it's got a load more items that you insert into your uh, onto your site so that's that and the other new things we have here is um, site structure we did have a site structure button before but the the design of the site structure that appears is um, to be believed. Right, there it is. Here we've got all the pages that I've put on the site. Um, at the moment they are all parents and what you can do is you can click and drag and you'll see the squares come up to the side and to the one at the bottom. Now, if you put your cursor from the from what your page you're dragging into that square, that's where the page will be taken to. So that one has been taken to a child of home, and then the third one, for instance, can go to be there to the right of number two, and so on and so forth. And you can also uh, select a page and press delete and this will remove the page from the site and you can go on like that in the site structure you can also move items by right clicking on a page for instance if I select number five like so you can uh, remove from selection 
and add a page, clone a page, and all sorts of things. Shall we close that site structure? Now one new item, uh, if you look on my, my website, uh, dond-wp.com, I have a, uh, a new banner on my home page, which is a, a sliding panel, which has been introduced into X6. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on it. It's, it's going to be a quite lengthy tutorial. I may have to do two uh, because there's such a lot it can do. Um, you'll notice that the tree here is different to X5. Um, you've got um, a, on the X5 you've got a tick if the page is in navigation whereas in X6 there's no mark at all. But if you make it not in navigation then you'll see an X next to it like so. The other one that uh, has been changed is this navigation here as you can see looks slightly different. Uh, there's page 5 which is out of navigation that's got an X next to it. Um, uh, and then that, that's um, that's all there is going to be in this uh, little insight to M6 uh, X6. Uh, I've had it for about a week or so, and I find it very good. It's very stable compared to X5. So um, get a hold of it uh, if you're a customer already. You've, there's a good deal going on it. Um, so have a look, see and I'll be coming back with some more tutorials very soon uh, with all the new items that are in uh, X6. I haven't gone through everything because there's quite a lot. Okay, bye-bye.